as we always do when we have a sponsored bottle. Thank you so much to Brownie for sponsoring this bottle of rye whiskey. This is our Rittenhouse Bottled in Bond. Brownie is the goat for sponsoring this bottle. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, Brownie. Our uh, sponsor program is currently on hold. We have too many, too many bottles of things that I are like drink specific. But if you want to ask me about stuff that is out, um, I got a couple of things on the list that you can certainly um, help out with if you want to sponsor a bottle with a donation. So just message me if that's actually what you want to do. Otherwise, it's all good. Appreciate you. Appreciate the appreciate the love and the support. I know I would talk about that fresh monkey, the the new. Um, monkey shoulder one but we have too many things too many things i'm about to go on a huge sherry adventure and also a port adventure because brownie and mark bought three bottles of of sherry and port which is a lot <laughs> it's a lot of fortified wines <laughs> um i don't know whenever whenever we're done with trivia and done with our drinks and done hanging out it just kind of happens when it happens can you have too many? Uh, yeah, when the shelves are full, that's when you have too many, uh, because it started to become a will I ever get to it question. All right, and then we're gonna give that a nice stir. At least three drinks in two categories from now, yeah. We have a lot of drinking left in this one. We've only had two of our five. Sacrilege. No, it's honestly just like cost and space efficiency more than anything. Cost and space, space efficiency. Uh, specifically because um, sherry and port, both wine-based, will go bad. All right. Bot, dolphin. Normally I would use a, um, a julep strainer for this, but Hawthorne actually works really well on these pint glasses. And our garnish. Lemon twist. Ooh. Very juicy one, too. Those little splashes on there. Even though there's no, uh, no ice, the liquid so far down. Still made it. Sazerac, one of those drinks where it actually benefits from having a lot of open room, the washroom. Um, not the bathroom, the wash line, sorry, um, being so low because you get to smell all that absinthe that's in there. Bot, dolphin, well, I know, washroom, I meant wash line. <laughs> the room from the wash line, <laughs> the words that actually were supposed to come out of my mouth. Let me grab this coaster that matches over here. Seven of nine. Bot, take a photo. Cam one. All right. Two beautiful drinks. Wonderful thing about julep cups. With all the pebble ice, they are very, very cold. Like, run your finger down and it's frosty. Um, typically I would do this with straw, but I'm kind of just like, eh, whatever. Cheers. Mint julep first. Drink number four on. 
here we go let's try them out drink number four first which is our mint julep first of our matchup here i got a drink from our mint side very cold on my teeth i need a straw pretty a long straw though 